Welcome to Hackney Whip Football Club. Today the first team take on our landlords within Town FC. Dante, Jermaine, Hash and Miles arrive. And here comes first team manager Yuma Sami. The team hasn't played here since December 2020, so it's a welcome return. With some players moved on, there's some new faces in the team. The policy, as always, is try to recruit the best young players in London and the surrounding areas. And once again, Hackney Whip Football Club will have the youngest team in the league. The boys head out for their warm-up. It's 31 degrees today, so I have to make sure they're really hydrated and conserve their energy. Here comes Adam and Jermaine, who were recruited from the under-18s two years ago. Kwame, who captained the under-18s in the 32 Barrel Cup, has been promoted to the first team and will be making his debut today. A lot is expected from Adam, who broke into the first team halfway through the season. Many clubs are inquiring about him. Nelson in the black is the oldest player in the team at 30 and brings with him a lot of experience. Now we're ready for kickoff. And Hackney have started well, keeping the ball moving from side to side. Very patient game, they'll have to be in this heat. We need to conserve their energy. It comes back in here to Dante. He plays it out wide to Kwame. And it's a long ball over the top by Miles. Hackney are going for a 4 3 3 formation. Uh, Witten win the ball here midfield. They pick up the ball here. Move it central. Gets it back wide. Oh, that's a great block by Dante. He picks up the ball. Jermaine has it now. What can he do here? He shifts the ball out wide. To Justin. It's a patient game by Hackney. Jason plays it forward. Great battling there by Amari. He wins it. And that will be a foul. Yes, the refs called it. Amari gets to his feet. And Dante gets set to whip it in. It's in the box. Oh, what a goal. Thumping header there by Jason. Get himself back into fitness. And what an amazing goal. Top corner, no keeper saving that. And the Hackney Whip boys take an early lead and go and celebrate with their teammate. Hackney are all over them. Oh, Lewis hits the crossbar. That could have been 2-0 there. Hackney really piling on the pressure. Oh, is the ref going to give a foul there? Yes, he does. A foul on Virgil. Dante with another chance now to put the ball back in. Hackney Wick have had most of the possession and most of the chances. Puts it into the right area and punched away by the keeper. Halfway through the second half, the referee gives a water break because of the weather. It's just too hot out there. And there's a chance to get last minute tactics in again. Hackney are playing really well. 1 0 up and thoroughly deserved. And this is against a team two leagues above us in the football pyramid. A quick half time team talk, and the boys are back out again. You must give him flex final instructions before he comes on. The Hackney Wick fans, loud as always, really cheering on the team. Pete the Wicker man's missing today with a chest infection, but we're sure he'll be back soon. Four minutes into the second half, and Hackney Wick double their lead. Lewis with a corner, and it's her own goal. Whitam really need to wake up. And they go with the ball, running down, down the left channel. Left midfield, picks it up, tucks inside, push it into the striker. One, two, great play. Back again. 
And it's a goal. It's a finish. Witten are back in it. Don't rule them out. It's 2 1. Game on. It's another water break. And just before then, Witten got the equaliser to make it 2 2. But it wasn't caught on camera. You're trying to overdo it. Minimize your movement. Simplify the game. Get the ball ticking. Okay? Because they're conditioning the same as you guys. They're sitting with the same heat that we're playing. We're in the same pitch that we're on. So what are they doing different? I'm not questioning it. They're, they're conserving their energy and getting that ball working. Alright, and they worked it off just by their two patterns of plays that they played. We've got goals from the We stopped moving the ball, boys. Yeah. We're just forcing it. Forcing Everything's it this. Because every, okay. we were saying, oh, the runs on, the runs on in the first half. Now everyone thinks they have to hit it long. Just keep the ball simple, move it. Now we're tired, now we're 2 2. Now we feel like we have to force it to get the game back no. and win. We still play our game. Okay, I don't want just because it's 2 2 and we panic and have the overload. No, still play our game. The same way we've got the two goals, we'll get the third and we'll control the game. Rather than force, expose ourselves on the counter and then they slap it Because it can actually reverse and hit you back in the face if you force. Understand? Alright, so we still play our game. Simplify. 2 2. Alright, it's a pre-season game. I'm not gonna lie, we've been all on them. The two times we've slept, we've off. Okay? We can't allow that to run no more. We've got about half an hour or so. I'll try it, what, 25, half an hour. And I'm gonna get my rest of my subs on. Okay? And trust me, boys, this is where we are. 25 minutes of hustle. Does everyone understand that? Yeah. Yeah? 25 minutes, of, let's start the hey, game. Hey, okay? Go on, go in. Let's go. Get in the position. And guess who's on water duty? Yeah, that's me. But anyway, back to the game. With a few minutes to go, looks like the next person who scores will win it. Whitam are being quite strong at the moment. They're keeping the ball, they're putting a few more subs now. Would experience tell? Or would it be the youth of Hackney? Whitam moving the ball well over the top. And Kwame is battling. And it's gone out for a goal kick. Yes, Lionel's called it. It's eight minutes to go. Miles gets it over to MB, who's coming as a sub. Long ball over the top. It falls to Mari, and he finishes it. And that's it, that's surely the winner. 3 2 Hackneywick FC against Whitham Town. What an amazing performance. The final whistle has gone. The boys should be proud of themselves. They're shaking hands now. So next up for the Wickers is DTFC on the 24th of July. Let's see what happens then. Great win.